The story begins with a memory of a girl trying to hurt herself at school while other girls watch. When Myung Jaun, one of the girls in the class, tries to help her, the troubled girl threatens to hurt Jaun with a knife. Jaun tries to stop her but gets a cut on her neck, and blood begins to fall to the floor. The scene then moves to today, as Sung Suji starts at Baekin Girls High School and is late. She lies to the supervising teacher and tells her that she was informed to arrive 10 minutes later than the school time, with that line she manages to get in. As Suji comes up the stairs, she bumps into a girl who steps on her shoes, the girl somehow knows Suji is a new student and instructs her to go to the teacher's office. There she meets Mr. Lim, the class teacher, who tells her she'll be in year 2 class 5. Suji notices that other teachers in the room also look at her weirdly. Mr. Lim brings her to class 5, but it is secluded and doesn't stay in the same building as the other classes, in fact, it is the only class in that building. As a soldier's daughter, Suji is used to moving to new schools. Mr. Lim introduces Suji to the class, and she says hi to her new classmates but notices they don't seem friendly. As someone who changes schools a lot, Suji finds it easy to adapt to a new environment and tells herself to only avoid two types of people in the class, the losers and the bullies. She ends up sitting next to a girl who is lying her head on the table. Who turns out to be Jaun, the girl we see in the beginning. Suji notices that Jaun has a lot of injuries and cuts on her body. Suji tries to make friends with Jaun, but she doesn't want to. However, some girls, including a beautiful girl named Harin, approach and start a conversation with Suji. They also introduce her to Yurim, a girl in the class who is training to become a music idol, and Seo Dua, the class leader with top results. Dua then tells everyone to go to the auditorium for music class. There, Suji sees the teacher scold Joan for being late. Then the classmates cheer for Yurim and ask her to perform. A classmate sitting next to Suji tells her that Yurim will soon debut. She is very well liked in the class also good at school. At the end of the day, Suji is leaving the classroom and says bye to everyone, and they joyfully say it back, but their facial expressions swiftly change as soon as Suji leaves. The following day, Suji thinks about where she fits in with her classmates and tries to blend in. She really doesn't like Joan and decides to stay away from her, time goes by, and Suji feels more like she belongs. However, she starts to notice something strange, class 5 is also the only class in the cafeteria and the girls from class 5 don't have any interaction with students from other classes. One day, Suji witnesses Joan being tied up and tortured in the sports room by Dayun, Wui, and Seolha. She doesn't interrupt them because she's afraid she will become their next target. When they leave, Suji comes in and tells Jaun to report them instead of suffering and gives Jaun some bandages. Suji sees some wrist cutting scars on Jaun's arm, showing that she has tried to harm herself multiple times. Then, Jaun asks Suji what day it is. As soon as she realizes it's the last Thursday of the month, Jaun rushes Suji back to the classroom. Suji enters the class and sees everyone staring at her. Dua comes up to the board and draws a triangle, then sends Suji a link to download an app called Pyramid Game. She explains that every last Thursday of the month, everyone in the class will play this ranking game. They can also choose not to play, like Joan. Everyone who plays will vote for five people from the class. Based on the number of votes, each student can be placed in ranks between A and D. People of rank A will enjoy certain privileges over those with a lower rank, and one of these privileges is that someone who is ranked lower can't fight against people with rank A, anyone who doesn't receive any votes will be ranked F and become the outcast of the class, Suji is hesitant to join this stupid game but is still sure she will receive at least a few votes from some people she usually hangs out with, so she votes for them. However, she soon realizes that no one votes for her, making Suji an outcast with rank F, and she will be the next victim for the bullies in the class, which includes Dayun, who gets rank A. At home, she asks her dad if they will move soon, but her dad says they will stay here for three months. So Suji understands that she has to endure the bullying for three months before it will be over. At school the next day, Suji starts getting taunted by Dayun's group. When Suji tries to act tough, Dayun has her friend Seolha attack Suji and slam her to the ground multiple times in front of the whole class, but no one interferes or helps her. Not only that, when Suji goes to the restroom to clean herself up, she notices how the bullies have left no bruises on her, so she can't report them. Dayun keeps taunting her in the class with a dog whistle, but everyone in the class just ignores it as it's normal for rank F to get bullied. Later, as Suji is eating in the canteen, 
Dayun comes in and forces her to take an addictive painkiller pill. Suji dares her to play a guessing game on whether Suji took the pill or not and wins, pissing off Dayun. After that, Suji decides to use the CCTV footage on their floor to gather evidence of the bullying. However, to her surprise, the CCTV cameras have been taken down. She turns on voice recording on her phone intending to get the evidence of the bullying herself. She bumps into Harin on the way back to the class, and Harin warns her that Dayun is looking for rank F people and tells her to stay strong. When she gets in the class, Wooey realizes she's recording, snatches her phone to turn it off. Using Suji's phone, Wooey learns that she's on her period and takes the sanitary pads out from Suji's locker and cuts them up in front of her. She also makes sure the other students don't lend pads to Suji. Day after day, they torture Suji with a new method and make the teacher think that they actually befriend her. However, when Yarim and Harin pass by, they stop and go away, but Harin comes to check on Suji again. Dayan has an idea that from now on, anyone below rank A can also bully rank F. And all of them enjoy doing so as soon as they're allowed to, Suji understands that most of the classmates she has are mean and they just use the game to justify mistreating others. Suji finds it impossible to survive in this hostile environment and decides to find a solution to win the pyramid game. Meanwhile, Joan contemplates ending her life by jumping into an empty swimming pool but gets scared by her own idea and steps back. Suji looks into the pyramid game ranking and learns that Yurim, despite being the most popular girl in class, was a rank B student, while Dayan and Dua were rank A. She also notices how Joan and she were the only two students with zero votes. When Jaun comes in, Suji then loudly says thanks to Jaun before the others, making the whole class turn their heads. Suji tells Jaun that she wants to be besties with Jaun and help each other get out of rank F. However, Jaun pulls her out of the class. She is surprised to learn that Suji is also rank F and gets bullied. Suji tries to convince Jaun to team up with her to bring down the two girls that got one vote and replace them in rank D. However, Jaun refuses. Because she doesn't want anyone else to get hurt. Suji suspects others, not just the bullies, control the pyramid game from behind the scenes. Meanwhile, the bullies seem to be reporting about Suji to someone, a student wearing a pair of Gucci sneakers. She runs into Unbayel, the class loser who asks Suji to meet her in the music room in private. Unbayel says she used to be friends with Jaun but swapped votes with someone else. This left Jaun with no votes and made her rank F. Unbayel wants to help Jaun get out of rank F. Suji is in English class, thinking about her conversation with Unbayel earlier. Unbayel mentioned that Yurim comes from a rich and influential background but never talks about it. Suji tries to recall what Unbayel said about the others when Dayun approaches her with a dog whistle. She has her two friends hold Suji down and pour a box of worms into her mouth. Suji pushes them away and spits the worms out. Wui tries to pick up the worms from the ground, she wants to put them in Suji's clothes. She hums a song, which reminds Suji of something, and she tries to remember it, at the same time, a student from class 5 is smoking in the office of school board member Choi Iwa. Her face isn't shown, but she is wearing a pair of Gucci sneakers. Joan shows up there, and the student tries to poke the burning cigarette into her eye. Joan asks the girl to stop and agrees to do anything she wants. A flashback from one month ago shows the school principal talking to the mysterious girl with the Gucci sneakers about Suji, the new transfer student who's going to join the school. The girl asks the principal to place Suji in class 5. Back in the present day, the mysterious girl enters the class with Suji on the ground. The girl is none other than Bek Harin. Suji recalls her humming the song, just like Wui does. She also got the most votes and planned to have Suji placed in class 5 as her new bullying victim. For everyone, Harin is a perfect girl and good at everything she does. Wui admires her and voluntarily becomes her servant. One day, Harin bullies Joan in the school backyard and uses lipstick to draw on her face. Then, one of the students comes across the scene, and Harin goes after her. The story cuts to the present day when Harin enters the class as Su Ji is being bullied by Du Yun and her group. Harin helps Su Ji up and asks Du Yun to stop, all of the bullies seem scared as she comes in. Su Ji figures that Harin is the one behind all of this crazy hierarchy game but keeps it to herself. She thanks Harin and leaves the classroom. Suji comes back home and tells herself that she has to find a way to break the pyramid game. At home, a high-end personal shopper is consulting Harin about branding items. But Harin keeps thinking about the conversation she had with Joan before. 
Jaun asked her to stop hurting other students, especially the new girl Suji. Meanwhile, at the school, the teachers are having a meeting. One of the teachers talks to the principal about some bullying cases in her class. The principal asks the teacher if the parents of the victims are high profile people, and as soon as she gets that they are not, she tries to brush it off and tells them that most of the bullying cases are just teasing each other. Mr. Lim tells her not to take it lightly and asks the teacher to talk to the victim. In the class, Suji is covered in trash while Wu Yi plays the sound of dogs barking. The bullies enjoy it so much until Dua announces that break is over and the girls get back to their places, Suji notices that class 5 is in its own building and sees bullies who make up rules to pick on others without getting caught. She thinks a group of bullies is doing this, not just one person. The teachers seem unaware of the bullying. Suji goes to ask Mr. Lim why there are no CCTV cameras near class 5. Another teacher cuts in, saying the area doesn't need cameras because it only has one class. This teacher mentions that Dua, as class 5 representative, is reliable and will report back to the teachers. She adds that Dua's dad is the president of Seosim Hospital, and Dua arrives just as this is revealed. Suji looks up Seosim Hospital and finds out Dua, Harin, and other popular girls are connected to it. She sees that these girls are all sports winners. Meanwhile, in the school, there are private class for the rich girls. They get special lessons in manners and leadership, and Dayun, a bully, gets a message from her sister indicates that she is often abused at home. Dayun then asks a lower-ranked student to meet her, probably to bully them and feel better about her own troubles. Suji meets Harin at the water dispenser and pretend like she still doesn't know and asks her who made up the bullying game and why. Harin, the biggest bully, says they like to see the fear and despair in the eyes of the lowest-ranked students. Suji says that the creator must be a psychopath and asks Harin why she, being new, is ranked low and gets picked on while Jaun was already being bullied. Harin tells Suji it's not her fault and walks away. When Suji heads back to class, thinking about how creepy Harin was, her classmate Jie stops her. Jie shouts and blames Suji for being absent during the break, which led to Dayun picking on her friend Sunny. Suji fights back and tells Jie that it is not her responsibility to absorb all the violence from the bullies and ensure that no one else gets bullied. Suji tries to calm herself down because she thinks getting angry and attacking Jie will make her look bad to others, and she is trying to find a way to get more people to vote for her. After school, she meets Jaun, cries in front of her, and asks Jaun to vote as she had planned. Jaun still refuses to vote but agrees to help Suji talk with Sunny and Jie, as they are nice. Suji tells Joan that they might be nice but not cooperative. She is right, Sunny and Jie are very defensive when Suji and Joan ask them to join Suji's plan. Suji explains to Joan that they want to keep someone at rank F so that person can attract all the bullies in the class, keeping themselves safe. Suji tells Joan that none of the students in the class would want them to get out of rank F because it would only make them the next targets of the bullies. She asks Joan again to vote so she can move up from rank F. But Jaun walks away. Suji talks to Unbayel alone and finds out that all the girls from year 1 class 5 are now in year 2 class 5, with only Jaun and herself as the new students. Suji starts to worry about Unbayel and wonders if she'll be left out if Unbayel and Jaun become friends again. Suji receives a call from her dad, who needs a document. She travels to the Seoul military base to give it to him. Her dad assures Suji she doesn't need to worry about moving again because he'll be in Seoul for a while. Suji secretly wishes she could have moved this time. After this, Jaun doesn't come to school for a few days, leaving Suji as the only student with a rank F in their class. Yurim feels sorry for Suji, and her deskmate, Simon Jaun, suggests they should help Suji. At the same time, Harin remembers a recent conversation with Jaun. Harin, having overheard Jaun and Suji's conversation earlier, warns Jaun about trying to make new friends. Fast forward to the present. All the schoolgirls gather in the auditorium for a prayer service. Harin, the star of the service, performs a ballet dance. Suji, while thinking about the upcoming vote, accidentally drops her phone and make a loud noise. After this, the young group corners Suji in the library, threatening to shoot her with a gun. Wui taunts Suji, make her act like a dog and play fetch, but Suji senses Dayun wouldn't actually kill her. She stares down the gun's barrel, unflinching as Dayun fires, only to reveal the gun was loaded with blanks, Suji exits the room and bumps into Yurim. The two then see Harin with her mother, Choi Iwa, who is the school's chairwoman. 
Not just that, Yurim reveals to her that Harin is the granddaughter of the CEO of Baekin Corporation, one of the top three largest companies in South Korea, which has provided significant sponsorship for their school. That evening, Harin and her father, Mr. Baek Hyun Joon, dine with Dayun, Dua, and their fathers, the fathers, who are business partners, meet for dinner once a month with their daughters. The atmosphere at these dinners is tense, Dayun's dad and Dua's dad force them to get closer to Harin, and Harin acts very friendly and innocent in response. During the dinner, Harin convinces her father to increase scholarships for a talented but financially struggling swimmer in her class. When her dad hesitates, she leans in and whispers something to him, and he eventually agrees. Meanwhile, Suji visits a convenience store, where employee Jo Sunwa offers her a triangle kimbap for free, saying it expired 10 minutes ago. At the same time, Joan writes a letter to the school expressing her wish to drop out. The following day, Suji meets Mr. Lim, who appears trustworthy. Just as she's about to discuss the bullying with him, Dewey interrupts, asking Mr. Lim to meet with the principal. After school Suji wants to follow Mr. Lim and talk to him about the bullying. However, Dua intervenes once more, stopping Suji. She then takes Suji inside the school and warns her against revealing any information about the game to the teachers. The next day, Suji has an idea to get away from Dua's radar. She pretends to be sick and goes to the infirmary. However, the nurse insists she return to class. During a physical education session, Mr. Lim and other teachers notice the inappropriate behavior of class 5 girls towards Suji on the playground. Mr. Lim checks on Suji, asking if she's alright. Wooey interrupts, claiming they were all just having fun. Suji, feeling unwell, requests Mr. Lim to escort her to the infirmary. Dua volunteers to go with her, but Mr. Lim insists she stays in PE class and takes Suji to the break room instead to talk about what happened, touched by Mr. Lim's concern. Suji reveals the bullying she's been enduring. Mr. Lim, wanting to document her account, starts recording their conversation and asks to see any physical injuries. Suji admits she has no visible wounds. The girls from class 5 are texting in their group chat, saying Suji will be in trouble for placing her trust in someone as Mr. Lim. Mr. Lim films Suji while waiting for the water to boil. He comes close and tells her she needs to have visible scars to report school bullying. When Suji avoids him and tries to get away, he hits her in the face. Just as Mr. Lim is about to pour hot water on Suji, Joan arrives in the break room. Suji shoves Mr. Lim aside to let her in. Spotting a kettle of boiling water, Joan throws Mr. Lim's phone into it to erase any videos he may have recorded of Suji's statements. Mr. Lim chases after the two, but fortunately, it's break time, and as students leave their classrooms, he loses sight of them. However, Yun Nahi, a part time teacher, witnesses this scene. She has also seen Suji being bullied during the physical education lesson and wonders what is happening with Class 5. Joan takes Suji to the rooftop and shows her a video of Wuri, a former student of Class 5. She explains that Wuri was the main target of bullying in Year 1 Class 5. Wuri eventually turned to Mr. Lim for help, but he ended up recording her stripping naked under the guise of revealing her injuries to him. Then, Mr. Lim exploited the video to blackmail the bullies' families for money and threatened Wuri so intensely that she left the school before the end of year one. Joan considers dropping out, but Suji encourages her to remain and participate in an upcoming game to challenge the system together. Although initially refuse, Suji persuades Joan to reconsider, reminding her that the voting day is tomorrow. During lunch the next day, it's apparent that GAE and Sunny are facing some issues with their friendship. At the same time, Haren observes everyone with a menacing look, Suji is disappointed to find Joan absent once again. But as the day progresses and everyone gets ready for the game, Joan unexpectedly shows up and agrees to vote. The result of the monthly pyramid game is out, and Suji is shocked to learn that she is now ranked C with 5 votes, while Joan is ranked D with 2 votes. Meanwhile, GAE becomes rank F with no votes for her. Suji is relieved by the results, but Joan worries about GAE. GAE's bestie, Sunny, betrays her and votes for another girl after being bullied by Dion. Suji wonders who the other four people who voted for her are, besides Joan. GAE tries to talk with Sunny about not voting for her, but she has already gone away with her new friend. Wui asks Harin what they should do now that Joan has joined the game and she and Suji are no longer rank F students. Harin acts as if she doesn't understand what Wui is talking about and leaves the classroom. Outside, Suji loses the motivation to break the pyramid game as she is now rank C and won't get bullied anymore, Joan calls her a liar. Suji tells Joan that everyone just cares about themselves, and she would do the same. 
Suji also meets Harin, who congratulates her for getting out of rank F. Although Suji still knows she is a psychopath, it's not Suji's priority now to fight against her. After that, she returns to the classroom. Everyone looks at her differently, from disrespect to intimidation. Dayun's group starts to bully GAE, but Duai intervenes and tells them the ranking treatment is effective tomorrow, not today. Suji again goes to the convenience store and buys an extra triangle kimbap to give back to Sunwa. When she pays, he notices the pyramid game app on her phone. At that moment, someone from the class starts to message Suji, asking to be friends. Suji, annoyed by how fake they are, curses out. Suji is now added to the class group chat, and more girls try to befriend her, the same girls who mistreated and trash talked about Suji the other day. The next day, Suji talks to them, pretending to forget what they did to her. They tell her that Harin is not going to be in class because she is out on a trip with her family. Meanwhile, Harin is at an orphanage. In the garden, Harin burns a little girl's hand and threatens her not to tell anyone. Soon after, the child runs inside crying, and Harin also comes in to join her family, who are giving gifts to the kids. Her grandmother, Mrs. Byunsho Soon, tells Harin that the little girl looked like Harin when she was little. After her grandma's comment, Mr. Beck leaves the scene. Mrs. Byun expresses her pride in Harin and asks her daughter-in-law to make sure Harin gets whatever she wants, hoping she'll eventually take over the school. Meanwhile, after the vote, life at school for Suji completely changes, she no longer has to endure bullies and receives respect from those ranked lower than her, which also makes her start acting cocky. One day in the bathroom, Yirim tells Suji that she voted for her because she wanted to help. Suji wonders what Yirim wants in exchange, but Yirim doesn't want anything in return. She also tells Suji that it's very unlikely that people with low ranks voted for her because it would put them in an even worse rank. At home, Suji keeps thinking about what Yirim said and is curious about who from ranks A and B voted for her. The next day in class, Mr. Lim asks the girls to peer review each other's artwork and rank their friends. It turns out, the principal had told Mr. Lim to do this upon Harin's request. Dua then tells everyone to score their own work based on what they think they deserve. The students who are ranked D, e, except Jaun, choose a score of 35. Rank C students, except Suji, pick 40, and rank B students go for 45. Harin, the top student, picks the highest score of 50. GAE hesitates to go, but she knows she has to choose the lowest score. Suji notices how the game has made everyone believe they shouldn't aim for a score higher than their current rank. Suji eventually joined her peers at 40. The next morning, Suji wakes up from a nightmare that she is a rank F student again. She decides to break the system so that she can stop living in fear. In class, Suji tells the girls that the vote by the app can have some errors because people in high ranks always remain in high ranks, so Suji proposes they write the votes on paper and let Dua count them instead. Yuwon, the classmate who designed the app, protests, saying the app is honest and if there were any cheating, she shouldn't be in rank D herself, but they still try as Suji proposes. Dua counts the written notes, and they conclude that the app was right after all. Suji apologizes to Yuwon for doubting the app and leaves to submit the student work to the teacher's room. However, when Dua is distracted, Suji replaces the stack of votes with a different one. Dua notices the new stack of votes but doesn't say anything. Suji uses this stack of votes and compares it with the handwriting in homework notebooks and realizes that Haran, Dayun, Wui were the other three people who voted for her, besides Yerim and Jaun, and realizes that they are planning to play cat and mouse with her. The next day, Suji works on making connections with fellow rank C students when Wui and Dayun bully GAE, asking her to pretend to be a cat and forcing her to eat cat food. Jaun tries to stop Wui, and she asks Jaun to eat the cat treats instead if she wants to protect GAE. Suddenly, Haren stops Wui and scolds her, asking her to apologize to Jaun, putting up the act of a nice righteous classmate again. Suji is grossed out by that and throws a pen at Haren's head, then pretends it was just a mistake and apologizes to her. Wui tries to hit Suji for hurting Haren. Haren tells Wui to stop, as it was an accident. Since Haren is trying to act as a nice innocent person, Suji leverages that to ask her to use her power as rank a student to stop the bullying toward GAE and any rank F students. But Harin drops her act and says that she is just a student like them and can't do anything else. Suddenly, the literature teacher, Ms. Yun Nai, walks into the class to give them the topic of the next exam. Jaun quickly hides GAE, and all the students turn their heads back, acting like nothing happened. Ms. Yun asks what's going on, but Dua tells her it's break time and asks her to leave the paper on the table. The teacher leaves, though she's still curious about what the students were doing. After Ms. Yun leaves, Suji gets GAE's phone number. She then goes to the rooftop, and Jaun also follows her there. They talk and decide to work together to stop the game. That afternoon, they meet GAE at the convenience store. GAE cries for a while, then tells them that the class wasn't like this at the beginning, it was Dayun's idea to start a game in the class, GAE says the game was first meant for the class to vote for the one friend that everyone was most grateful for, and the reward was something like not having to do cleaning duty during the exam period. But over time, students began to bully those who were ranked lower than them, and violence became contagious. 
eventually leading them to normalize brutally bullying rank F students, Suji and Joan talk about Wari, the victim who was rank F the whole year one and had dropped out due to bullying. Joan notices Sungwa and thinks she had seen him before, the next day, Suji sees Dua in the library and thanks her for not exposing her for stealing the voting notes. She also reveals that Joan told her Dua was the person who sent her the video of Wari and Mr. Lim to her. Dua answers that she didn't want Suji to have to deal with the highest punishment for revealing the game to someone else and breaking the rule. Suji asks Dua to become her ally because she notices that Dua actually doesn't want rank F people to get bullied. But Dua tells her that her rank and position are good now and she doesn't want to change any of that. Before leaving, Dua implies that even rank D people are difficult for Suji to get as allies because they are also connected with higher ranked people, Haren, Dayan, and Wui notice Dua and Suji leaving the library one after the other and get suspicious of Dua. Meanwhile, Suji, Jie, and Jaun try to determine which rank D student had connections with the higher ranking students. Suji realizes all the higher rank students have powerful parents that can affect the parents of lower rank students. That day, Haren and Wui attend an art gallery where Haren offers to buy a painting for Wui. Wui is excited and starts trash talking about Dua, but Haren harasses her and tells her to know her place. Haren says that Dua and Dayun were the two people she always trust because they have known each other for years. A flashback shows Haren talking about the idea of a hierarchy game in their class with Dayun and Dua during one of their family gatherings. The next day, Suji, Joan, and Jiae meet at the convenience store again. Suji says they need five votes to be in rank C. If the three of them vote for each other, they still need three more votes from rank D students who are also looking to increase their ranks. And if there are more rank C students than rank D students, the pyramid will turn into a diamond, and the game will be broken. Jae finds the task very difficult to achieve, but Suji pulls out a folder with student information that she took photos of from the teacher's office. Suji walks through the class students' profiles and shows the other two that most of the students in the class have their parents working for either Harin's, Dayun's parents' companies, or Duai's dad's hospital. They then choose three students to approach, the next day. Suji befriends the three targets. Joan tries as well, but she is too awkward around them. Suji notices Unjong being especially close to Yurim and tries to understand the dynamics of their friendship. One day, Ms. Yun finds Jaun and asks her if there has been any bullying in her class. However, Harin shows up and takes Jaun away with the excuse of bringing her to the class before she can say anything. Suji talks to Yiwon about the Pyramid Game app and realizes that Yiwon is insecure about being ranked D, and decides to leverage that. Meanwhile, Harin tries to threaten Jaun again then Jaun's vibrate as Suji messages her. Eventually Jaun goes to the rooftop but doesn't say anything about Harin. Suji is reading the comments from teachers about Yiwon and wonders if there is a way to hack into the students' phones to know more about them. Joan thinks this is illegal, but Suji thinks she should befriend Yiwon and then ask her to hack into people's phones. Suji asks Joan to try and talk to Yiwon, they are about to approach her then overhear Yurim asking Yiwon about her new Apple MacBook Pro laptop. Suji checks the price of that laptop and rereads the profile of Yiwon. She doesn't come from a wealthy background as her family owns a bakery shop. But Yiwon is described as an ambitious and opportunistic person. Suji realizes that since the laptop was expensive, it was Harin who purchased it for Yiwon. Suji tries to call Jaun to stop her from following Yiwon, but she doesn't pick up. Suji's suspicion was right, Yiwon led Jaun into Harin's trap that she had set for her. However, Suji arrived in time and interrupted them. It turns out they made a deal, Yiwon will inform Harim if Suji and Jaun do anything that annoys her, and they noticed the duo kept questioning and following Yiwon. Harim called out Su Ji's plan but told her it would fail anyway. However, Su Ji still managed to stop Harim from bullying Jaun. It seems like something had happened between them, given how mean Harim was to Jaun and how defenseless Jaun was against her. Jae panics when she finds out that Harim knows about their secret plan. Su Ji thinks Harim doesn't know everything and they should still go ahead with their plan. Ms. Yun talks to Mr. Lim and asks him to arrange a meeting with a counselor for the girls of class 5. But he doesn't care and ignores her, Jae is picked on by Dayun's group and hides in the bathroom. Her former best friend Sung Yi follows her and tries to make her tell about Su Ji and their plan, then, Sung Yi goes to see Harim. Sung Hwa sees the pyramid game on Su Ji's phone and remembers something important. It turns out he is the brother of Wu Ri, the girl who was bullied in the first year and had to leave school. He is also a computer expert. In class, Su Ji starts to understand the secret relationship between Yerim and Eun Jong when Wu Ri asks Eun Jong about the lipstick she's wearing. Since she usually doesn't wear makeup. Su Ji realizes they are secretly dating and Yerim has been helping her. Also in class, Wu Ri starts to pick on Shin Yi but Hei Jun stops her, saying it's too much, Jae is taken away to be bullied by Dayun's group. Jaun wants to help her, but Su Ji stops her. This makes Jaun remember a bit of her past in the orphanage.
when she was little and playing with another kid, Dayun invites Haram to her house for dinner at her dad's request. However, Haram notices Dayun getting closer to Seol Ha, which annoys her, so she declines the invitation. This refusal leads to Dayun being beaten by her dad at home. Dua and her dad discuss this at his hospital, where it's revealed that Dayun was beaten because she failed to maintain a good relationship with Haram which could have helped her dad make better connections with the Bacon Company. Dua's dad also reminds her to keep a good relationship with Haram to protect their hospital and her future. At school, Suji finds out a secret about Hei Jun, she didn't vote for anyone she hangs out with. So, Suji texts her to meet up. Meanwhile, Ms. Yoon finds GAE crying in the bathroom and asks Suji what's happening in their class because she can't see any signs of bullying. However, Suji is still upset by what Mr. Lim did and remembers her dad always telling her to handle her own problems. So, she just thanks the teacher and leaves. Later, Suji and Jaun meet with Hei Jun. Suji believes Hei Jun doesn't vote for her friends because she doesn't want them to outshine her, although outwardly she acts like a protective and loyal friend. Suji threatens to tell Hei Jun's friends that she didn't vote for them, and Hei Jun agrees to vote for Suji's group to keep them quiet. That night, Ji Su and Jaun walk home and see Sung Hwa heading in the direction of the school. Sung Hwa breaks into classroom 5 at night to do something. Su Ji catches him red handed. Jaun also remembers that he is the brother of Wu Ri. Wu Ri is still traumatized by her memories of the school and can't leave her room. Meanwhile, Su Ji realizes Sung Hwa is a notorious genius hacker who won a prize in an international cybersecurity contest. He is here for the pyramid game and also because of his sister, Wu Ri. Later, Su Ji tells Jaun they should involve him in their plan because he's a genius hacker and can help them better than what Yuan can do. The next day, she meets him at the convenience store and invites him to join them so he can understand what happened with his sister, and he agrees. He starts by hacking into Jae Hyung's phone and sees that he has a lot of pictures of Eun Jong and is quite a pervert. He informs Su Ji the next day, and she discusses with Ja Eun how to use this information to blackmail Jae Hyung to vote for them. However, Ja Eun proposes to do the task herself. She decides not to use the pictures to threaten Jae Hyung but tries to befriend her instead, and she finally succeeds. So now they have two more people to vote for them. The last girl whom Su Ji wants to convince was supported by Harem, she helped her win an art contest, and Su Ji wants to change the target to someone else, however, Su Ji still finds it difficult to completely trust Jae and Jaun. At night, Su Ji asks Sung Hwa to find information about Sung Yi, and she finally knows her weak spot. She texts Sung Yi and threatens to expose her secret. The next day, one day before the monthly voting, the principal invites all the parents of class 5 students for a meeting. They are led to a different room. Su Ji's dad surprisingly shows up, but no one is friendly with him. Ms. Yun comes in and asks him if he's aware of the school bullying going on in Su Ji's class. Shocking everyone in the room, including the principal, who comes in with Haram's mom and Mr. Lim. Meanwhile, Su Ji meets up with Yi Rim and reveals that she already knew Yi Rim's secret and also the reason why she still participated in the game despite hating it. It is because Haram knew about the secret relationship between Yi Rim and Eun Jong and used it to force her to join in the game. Su Ji goes on to ask Yi Rim to be ranked as an F student this time. She wants to see if someone perfect like Yi Rim, who is pretty, famous, and comes from a rich family, will get bullied or not, and that will contribute to bringing Haran down. Right when Yaren refuses to go along with Su Ji's idea because she doesn't feel like being threatened, both of them receive a message from Sun Yi on the group chat asking Su Ji to stop what she's doing, otherwise, she will harm herself. Shocked, they rush back to class 5 with all the other girls, trying to get in and stop Sun Yi from hurting herself. But before they can get in, Sun Yi cuts her wrist, and some blood drips onto the floor. Haram steps up and takes the knife from Sun Yi's hand. Su Ji arrives, and everyone stares at her. Haram confronts Su Ji, Asking why she would do something like that to Sun Yi, Su Ji realizes she has fallen into Haram's trap, framed as the villain. Everyone starts shouting at her, blaming her for making Sun Yi attempt to take her own life. At the same time, Ms. Yoon informs Su Ji's father, Lieutenant Young, about the bullying in Class 5, telling that his daughter might be one of the victims. Ms. Yoon wants him to see for himself and leads the parents back to the class. Everyone arrives right at the moment when all the students are blaming Su Ji for what Sun Yi has done. People start calling Su Ji the bully, while Haram steps up again, acting like a savior, and says that Su Ji is just new to the class and needs some time to adapt. Haram's mom, 
The school director Choiwa also says that the kids have their own system for dealing with things like these and asks the parents to stay out of it. So later, the parents stay outside and look into the class when Su Ji stands in front of the class, waiting for her classmates to discuss her punishment for breaking the rule, bullying a rank D student as a rank C student. Dayun wants all of Su Ji's boats to be confiscated. Seeing that all her plans will be ruined if this happens, Su Ji asks Sung Yi to show the proof that Su Ji bullied her, but she doesn't have any. Haran says they should decide Su Ji's fate by voting. Everyone outside seems satisfied and says it's democratic to do it this way, but Ms. Yoon thinks it's actually a public execution. Ms. Yoon wants to intervene, but Haram's mom stops her and whispers that she will make Su Ji's life miserable if she does so. Inside the class, 21 people vote for Su Ji not being able to vote tomorrow, and Su Ji realizes she's doomed. Su Ji and her group go to the rooftop. Hei Jun texts her that she won't vote for Su Ji anymore, and if Su Ji keeps threatening her, she will do the same thing that Sun Yi did. Su Ji realizes Ja Eun was right about choosing to make friends instead of blackmailing their way out because Jae Hyung still stays with them. Su Ji doesn't understand why Haram knows so well about her plan. When they come back to the class, Haram is doing a presentation about the pyramid game and asks the parents to participate, but her mom stops her. However, her grandmother shows up and allows her to continue the game. Everyone does the voting except for Su Ji's dad, and the result is that Su Ji has zero votes and is ranked F. Haran asks Su Ji's dad what he feels about that, and he says that school is just like a miniature of real life and hierarchies exist everywhere and it's common. Su Ji is infuriated by his answer in questions if he knows what rank F students have to go through, even wanting to kill themselves, and states that Su Ji will break this stupid pyramid game. Somehow, Haran's grandmother is impressed by Su Ji's spirit and goes to shake hands with Su Ji's dad. After everyone leaves school, Su Ji finds a hidden camera on top of the board and thinks it was placed there by Sung Wa. At night, Haram texts someone and tells them that she will make Ja Eun be rank F tomorrow. The next day, Yaram comes up to Haram and tells her that involving the parents in the game yesterday was breaking the rules. Yesterday, she and Su Ji discussed, and Su Ji tells her she would never use her relationship with In Jung against her. So Yaram agrees to help Su Ji take over the game. Haram asks the other girls if they think this way and uses her power with some threats from Dayun and Wu Yi to back her up. Of course, no one would dare to say anything, and Yaram proposes they should vote anonymously. There are 13 votes against Haran, and she too has her voting rights taken away. It turns out Su Ji's plan was to push Yaram to be the rank A student this time. Su Ji asks Ja Eun to vote for Yi Rim and not to vote for her because she wants to be rank F again and can get more proof of bullying with the hidden camera. However, during PE, Haran is alone in class and finds the hidden camera. Later, Yaram's friend shows her an online article exposing how her dad bribed her way to fame and to debut as an idol. Eun Jong is angry and wants to find out who did this. It turns out that the person who wrote the article is Wu Ri, who somehow has an extreme obsession with Yaram. In the class, one girl mocks Yaram and makes In Jong suspicious, so she stands up and slaps that girl. The girl fights back, so she continues hitting her until Ja Eun intervenes. At that moment, Haram looks at the picture online and says that the photo looks like it was taken from a hidden camera from an above angle. So, Woon Jong goes around the class looking for it and finally finds the camera Sung Wa has placed. Su Ji knows this was Haram's plan to destroy the hidden camera, and the one who took the picture of Yaram is no one else but Sung Yi, who also has an anti-page of Yaram on Instagram. Eun Jong finally finds the camera and wants to know to whom it belongs. Yaram is angry because Eun Jong not only messed up her and Su Ji's plan but also caused some of their classmates to bleed out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like for more videos like this.